we're back with another podcast. I'm here with Jared and Lucas. So actually, uh, Jared's gonna be my co-host since you know he's got some bright ideas. So <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. my guest. All right, Lucas. So what are your hobbies? I know it's basketball, tennis. Um, right, as of right now, you know, yeah. just <clears throat> playing playing sports. Sports. You know, Trying to trying to go to the gym, you know. Bring that's cool. Kind of <laughs> kind of slacking, but you know. Actually, kinda, yeah. Why? Is, 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 I don't know. Do I have just, time or what? No, it's not that time. I go like I try to go every day, but instead I go like three or four days a week. <laughs> so yeah. Is it because you like lack motivation or? No, nah, honestly, what it is is because like I moved to Tri Cities, yeah. and then so like. I'm only here on the weekends, so like I'm there like four days a week, and I'll go when I'm in Tri-State. But when I'm here, I don't go. Go like, wait a minute, yeah. because I don't have a membership here, and so like yeah. it's not worth it. I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll yeah. have to go with the like someone like if they like at the high school or like something like that. Like my brother, <laughs> like Johan, they open the gym. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of tough. Oh, but, cause you use the school gym over there. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, you know, just. Not not many hobbies right now, you know. In the you know shoes, but like that's kind of like died down for me a little bit. Damn. we're thinking about Kanye. Kanye, uh, and he does, and he does. Kanye, he does. It's a no, it's, it's a tough not. situation. <coughs> Wait, do you agree with what Kanye says? Cause you you told me right, Kanye's like one of your favorite rappers. Yeah, I mean, probably, you wear his like, merch probably like top three. Yeah. got some of his merch. So what do you graduation think? top ten or top top three album actually? Top, top three rap yeah. album. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Do I just freaking put it in here? Yeah. Alright. You don't have it already, do you? Alright. Alright, I'll put this one right here too. So do you agree with things Kanye says? Kanye says? Not not a like stuff he said recently. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you know, it's obvious he's going through some like mental health issues, so Yeah. That's why. That's why I don't judge him because he's he's not the same. He's he hasn't been the same since his mom died. So. Oh, that's where it started. Yeah, that's where I it didn't started. know that. I feel like, I feel like that's where it started. What was this like? Back in like two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Oh. Since then, like, it's been the same. Because his mom was like, Big like even throughout his career, like his mom was always was always there, like helping him, mm. telling him what to say, what not to say, what to do, what not to do, stuff like that. I didn't know that. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait, what's uh like Kanye's beginnings? Like you know where he came from? He's like poor background, or is it well wealthy? Um, Do you know how much? Because you, know? you watched the documentary. Yeah, right? yeah. He's, he's, I don't know if it's like poor, poor, but like he, he wasn't like wealthy or anything like that. Like, but I don't know how poor he was. But like, I don't think he was like, like at the bottom, bottom. But like he, he wasn't. <coughs> he was he was um still like lower class though. But like, you know, single parent. Yeah. His mom raised him. You grew up in Chicago, huh? Yeah. Well, the way I see it, I like to separate, you know, both artists, like the music they make. Exactly. And, you know, like the stuff they say, you know, because exactly. there's a lot of artists who say like some dumb stuff or like just, I don't know. Uh, just, there's a guy. Wait, so what, what did he say that made him get... Canceled or what? Yeah, because so I don't, I don't know. What's it's going uh, he's going, what's it, anti-Semitic stuff? So basically, stuff against the Jews. I know, but like, what is it exactly that exactly? he said? Yeah. Well, so I saw a clip where he talked about how, how no matter what he says, Adidas won't drop him. Yeah, and it's kind of funny because Adidas dropped him like I think a couple of days later after that, but it, it wasn't because of that they dropped him. Right, he was just saying some, I don't know, things about yeah. him. Well, he threatened their contract and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy. Because he brings in, like, I think I saw something like 300 to 600 mil yeah, that's for Adidas. Right. So that's, like, almost, I'd say that's almost half the revenue. Like no, here. I know, but the thing is, okay, I saw it too, right? But Adidas makes, I think, like, around, like, the same amount, around a little bit more. For the Yeezys brand, which in yeah. theory it breaks, it breaks, it's it's. So they're gonna lose. They break even. No, they break even. But I don't know if you guys saw. No, because Yeezy brand is Kanye. No, no, honestly, I think, but Adidas is, is gonna keep selling the Yeezys brand. Yeah, because they own the patents to the shoes. 
Oh, four. I, yeah. I, I know four. They own four, like the three fifties, the seven hundreds, I think, and then the foam runners, I think. Like the north side, right? Yeah. No, yeah. never mind. I don't think the foam runners. Oh. But yeah, that's supposed to be done. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so they're probably just gonna rename it. It's gonna be like Adidas. Freaking Adidas foam. Foam. Yeah. Foam Q. They're gonna put boost in the name somewhere, I bet you. Yeah. No, they're probably call it something else. Not boost, because I think boost is already. Alright, since we're talking about Adidas, what do you guys prefer? Adidas or Nike? I prefer Nike. Nike, yeah. I think they have just more styles and more options. Yeah, more styles options, yeah. Actually? Yeah. I know I, you're a big Adidas fan, dude. Oh, I you just. Adidas. It's because um, I feel like Nike's more for looks. Adidas is, I mean. Or, they uh, do mo- do some looks, but yeah, it's more comfort. Like, well, in that case, go for New Balance, well, you know? <laughs> huh? In that case, go for New Balance. What you mean? Because they're for comfort. New Balance are... They're not that comfy. Um, yeah, they are. They're I mean, they're, they're known for the comfort. Com- compared to Adidas? No. Have you guys ever, like, worn a pair of... Yeah. Like, just I slides from Adidas? 550s or what? I had, I had the Yeezy slides. Well, it's not the Yeezy slides. It's the Foam Club slides. Uh, just from Adidas. Yeah, those things are freaking comfy. But even the easy ones, aren't they pretty comfy? Yeah, they are. They're hella comfortable. But, um... Oh, another spider? And I had a pair of NMDs back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, NMDs, I mean, they're pretty comfy. They're just not the most comfy. I feel like Pure Boost or Ultra Boost. Those are comfier. Damn, bro, there's hella bugs. There's a lot of bugs. <coughs> yeah, I'm more of an Under Armour kind of guy. Okay. <laughs> Kuma? Uh, Steph Curry? I've been getting into... I have I have um the Lamella Ball shoes. For and Puma, I like right? some of, Yeah, for Puma. And I like some of their stuff that it, they're coming out with. Oh, yeah. Actually, I, I do some, uh, some cool things from Puma. Yeah. The Lamella Balls. Making moves. Making moves. I like the, the J. Cole shoes, the Dreamers. Oh, yeah. Those are pretty clean. But they resell for a shitload, don't they? No, I don't think so. I think yeah. you can get them retail. Other pieces. So you're into shoes, uh, to sneakers, right? Yeah. You watch like those fake sneaker guys? Cause I've been watching actually. Come, uh, those fake sneakers. No, guys. but I seen like TikToks of like people buying reps and stuff like that. Oh yeah, it's reps. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you think about reps then? I think they're like they're fine. Yeah. If you can't like afford like obviously like, hell like, like expensive yeah. shoes, yeah. So <laughs> I think they're fine. It's just that, like, when you start to, when people resell them and stuff yeah, like that, that's the, yeah. or like they'll like just like say that they're real. It's like, bro, there's no, like, there's no shame in like saying that they're reps. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just don't, don't lie about it. Oh, do you, uh, I don't know. So you ever see like those YouTube videos where they talk about uh, the early pairs? They got they get the early pairs. Yeah. Well, basically, those early pairs are the fake. They're fake. Mm-hmm. Which is funny because you know, but mostly like, the the big sneaker guys. They're against fakes. Yeah. But they they're basically showing fakes. Yeah. It's kinda of ironic, you know? It's yeah. like yeah. I don't know. Uh, That's what it is. You have black? Uh is that brown? It's brown, yeah. yeah I see. You know black? No, but you know yeah. mixed black? Oh yeah, yeah there's black. black right there. Yeah, put put can you put a little dab in there? I'm gonna make it I'm darker. Black? Yeah. I'll make the red darker. There's a brown. Put some here, just mix it. So, uh, up. I need a darker brown. It looks kind of like it's orange. I don't know. What are you gonna pick? Trying to find vision. I'm gonna paint a tree. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was going. <laughs> okay, I can do that. <laughs> well, that tree looks cool. What are tree you painting, Jerry? Huh? The one behind you looks pretty dope. Yeah, actually. the one, the one that I was telling you this one. <laughs> that actually dope. But uh, there's nothing else. I don't know, I might just paint. What's your opinion? <laughs> I'm just doing the base spread. Yeah. So what you been up to, <coughs> Lucas? Just school? Yeah, just school. I don't have a job. So I've just been studying, chilling. Yeah. I'm probably I'm trying to get <clears throat> I'm trying to get into a coaching job though uh, for the winter time for basketball. Oh, like, oh that'd school. be dope. That'd be dope. Yeah. So I'm trying to do Well how's it wait, how's it gonna work with your schedule? Is going to uh, my school schedule? Yeah. 
Well, I don't have uh obviously practice would be like like from like three to five and like I have like that open like time gap time. But you're wait, so you're gonna be coaching over there or over here? Yeah, over there. Yeah. yeah. Oh okay. I think it'll be over here, that's I think you make it, but uh well, that'd be cool then. <coughs> yeah, that is pretty cool. For like for the high school, right? Or yeah, you, you either, either there or the middle schools over there that they have. Mm. Dude, I'll be down to watch. I don't know, just use a coach, that'd be funny. I'll be hell you on that though. I'll be just it's thinking the whole time, yo, <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> why did I do that? Dude, that was me. <laughs> oh no. You be mad, you wouldn't invite me no more if I did that. Because I actually would do that. <laughs> yeah, I know you would. I know you would. Oh that'd be some I'll do it if you do that. You should let me film me now. Oh yeah. That'll be fire <laughs> actually. That would good series. Fire. <laughs> you guys get smacked. <laughs> Honestly. Especially if I'm coaching. Yeah. I'd just be drawing up hella random plays. I like the Lakers coach. Just just shoot. I'm going to be like, just shoot every time. <laughs> get, it, get it. I don't care where you are. Just shoot it. You put, you, did you play basketball in high school? One well, of my freshman year and sophomore year. Oh. Then it didn't get, then it wasn't as fun. It got more serious. <laughs> but you're all supposed to be serious. That's why. <laughs> that's why I like. I was like, I'm just here to have fun, bro. <laughs> I was like, I'm just, I'm just trying to get get into like a sport or something. And they're talking about like, oh, you gotta be like dedicated to. It. I'm like, bro, we suck. We're gonna, we're gonna go two and eighteen. Like, <laughs> that was that was uh Pete, huh? Yeah, Pete. Or not Pete Biz. Yeah. You want you to be dedicated? I'm like, dog. It's just this is just for the extracurriculars for scholarships. Sports taught me to have fun, you know. <laughs> we're, we're not supposed have to have fun, fun. and fuck around. Keep <laughs> <laughs> uh, What about you, Jared? What have you been up to? Me just chilling, working, you know. What do you do after the gym? Tell him. What do I do after the gym? Yeah. He's like, we gotta go. The boys are waiting for me. Oh, playing COD. <laughs> you know, the new COD came out? Yeah. I have to grind it. Is it good? I mean, it gets me mad a lot. But I heard it's actually good. It's pretty good. I heard yeah. it's good. It's just like so many people camp. And I mean, you've played COD <laughs> yeah. too, right? Yeah. Can't and tell? Or it's like that. Out. That one rule, it's like when you're aiming down a freaking hallway, and the second you turn away, there's someone that appears. Yeah. Bro, that thing, like, that rule is so true. I was getting pissed. That was happening to me right now, actually, because I was playing with <laughs> Brian and Isaiah. What are you playing on? PS- PS5? PS5, yeah. yeah. I just got a PS5, too. Yeah, you just got a PS5. Damn, if you really want to run it up, let me know. Uh, I don't play COD. You don't? Overwatch 2. Oh, I've been playing that too. Overwatch. That's actually what I was playing before COD came out. Oh, yeah, you always kept telling me that. I was like, oh, you played Overwatch? Where's the black guy? Wait, wait, wait. There? No, that's why. Right there? Over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What should you do? What are you, you're oh, working, you're working at Microsoft, right? Yeah. What do you do over there? So I do mainly like logistics, but I'm trying right now, I'm trying to transfer to like be working on the servers. Because just working at Microsoft here, bro, they make good money. Like starting off, it's literally 25 to. 25 to I think it's 32 depends on what you have so yeah I mean 25 to 32 that's literally like the best you can get here in Quincy I think yeah that's pretty good and then you literally can work yourself up to like 100k a year 200k like, there are some people who make 200k a year, and they, I think they've only been here for 10 years? 
Twenty K for two years. Yeah. But it's because they're seniors, so you, yeah. I mean, you can like. No, the same the same as uh, software. You can also like kind of like software engineers, how you like levels. apply to different companies. Yeah, levels too. Oh. But yeah. apply to different companies and see who gives you a better. Yeah. So you can know what to see. Yeah. Between those two. Yeah. That's cool. And they say that usually if you're here, you can negotiate and Microsoft will most likely give it to you. Like, they won't really fight. They'll just give it to you what you ask for. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Who told you that? Who told you that? One of the dudes. Uh, uh, who told you that? It was one of our managers, I guess. Because yeah. he did that for his contract. Yeah. No, that's a big thing in uh, software engineering. It's part of the culture, you know? Where you get a job offer, you're supposed to negotiate your pay. Most to be you. And that's like a whole uh, interviewing step you have to learn how to do. Yeah, it's hard. You're not a good interviewee, or what? I'm pretty bad. <laughs> talk, you know, talk about yourself. Because, so I uh, like making YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. oh, so what are you going to school for, Lucas? Uh, project management right now. Project management. Yeah, that's just my bachelor's degree. I don't know what I want to go into, actually. So you're going to try to get your master's? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I don't know what in, though. I don't know if I want to get an MBA or if I want to go into, like, a specialization or something. Yeah. Yeah, you could probably do that and work as a project manager at Microsoft. Microsoft. Yeah, I see <laughs> They're hiring right hello, now. Hello, project management openings over, like, every time I look. Wait, would you actually want to live here in Quincy, though? Probably not. Right? No, but you, you can apply to different Oh, yeah, I mean, you can do yeah. actually. Yeah, sense Just yeah. Microsoft itself. Yeah. Or even in Seattle. Yeah. Headquarters. That's where you want to live, right? Like, I want to, I don't know, honestly. I, I want to live either. somewhere, like, that's not small, but it's not, like, hella big. Mm. I so, like, but I, I would want to live, like, in a city for, like, a short amount of time, like a year or something, just to experience it. Oh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I feel like, I it's personally think Washington State is like the best state to live in. Oh, yeah, definitely. But I think I want to stay That's just here. biased, you know? What? I no. think it's just biased. Is it though? Because yes. you get all four seasons? Yeah. I mean, and well, there's not a spider on your hair. Actually? You see it? Oh, there actually is a tiny though. <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, that was a huge <laughs> spider on me. That was cool. Um. Oh, no, Washington, like, you get, like, all four seasons. The cost of living is not too high. No, it's about the, 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 like, it's, there's, like, a lot of different environments here. Yeah. So you can, like, there's, like, uh, well, obviously, we live in, like, a desert climate. And then there's, like, you go over to Seattle, like, rainy. Well, it's the same thing as Cali. Yeah, but you don't want to live in Cali. <laughs> Why not? Because the cost of living... I know oh, it's cool, but like, yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool, but I oh, know it's not, it's not very uh, sustainable or what? No, like uh, <coughs> there's a lot of problems over there, like or like, well, like what? what? <laughs> there's a lot of homeless people. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna say that. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? They're like, because like, can have more homeless people. Like, in, oh, yeah. like, well, like I like I'm into cars, right? And so like, if you do like mods on cars, like I hear the police oh, in Cali are like, like oh, yeah. hell bad. And here they're like. They kind of don't care, but if, like, they will cite you, like, but they won't, like, they're not, like, assholes, you know what I mean? They're not, like... Yeah. I, see, I feel like that's the difference between a city and, like, a small town. But I hear that, like, a lot in Cali, like, just around, like, the California area. Because, yeah. like, they all have a lot of, like, restrictions on, and, like, um, like, city codes, stuff like that. And, like, restrictions on, like, what you can do to, like, cars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, like, here, like, they, they also, they have it, but, like, honestly, they don't really care. Yeah, of course, yeah. 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 They state refuge law in Cali. It's too much over there. Especially, like, they'll shut down, like, whole car events if, like, someone does a burnout. Or, like, just even res their engine. Just, have you ever been to one? Huh? Have you been to one? I've been to some when I was younger. Okay, never mind. Let's see. But there was, like, an organ. <laughs> and... I'm talking for them. They've been there, you know? Yeah. I mean, I've never been to one, too. I've been to one in Oregon, in Leavenworth. Oh. What else have I been to one? I've been to one in Wenatchee. I know. 
Are you missing Kanye for this? No, not. Not like. Oh, uh, is there a spider on your team? <laughs> there, there is. It's like <laughs> right next to your knee. You're just looking for spiders. <laughs> Yo. Like, Yo dude, why are we, bro? <laughs> just We're literally me. in their freaking nest. <laughs> There's no other spots to go to. <laughs> Yo, he's trying to get us freaking Honestly, into I'm gonna the spider verse. Like, there's to be no more guests here. <laughs> there's no more else to do it. I could do it in my garage, but my not my parents. My dad is working on the car. He's using the garage. Well, so. Do you want to live in stay in Quincy, Jerry? I don't want to stay in Quincy. I just want to like work my way in Microsoft, you know? Yeah. And then apply to a different Microsoft data center, like in Redmond or somewhere else. Because, yeah. you know, I'm just getting the experience as a temp right now. Mm -hmm. So I get that experience and then I have, they'll be like, oh, he's worked at a data center like in a small, because here the data centers are bigger than the ones in the cities. Yeah. So they'll think I have more experience, you know? You think so? Yeah. You think that's how it works? Yeah, that they told us that legit. Yeah, but, bro, they told him that. Just because it's bigger doesn't mean it's better. Bro, <laughs> it doesn't, yeah. doesn't matter. It doesn't what? matter. No, because no, like, but I get what he's saying because like there's I, a lot more responsibilities and like things to do with like these types of data centers as opposed uh, to one over there. Uh, so like they'll think he has like the experience with like the different. He knows like the different areas and stuff like that, which yeah. he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's like, exposed me. <laughs> <laughs> they go watch this podcast. Uh, this is, this is <laughs> Yeah, and then also because, like, Quincy's, like, I think they said it's the biggest moneymaker for Microsoft. Like, the data center is. Yeah. I, I, it makes it the is. most money for them. Oh, the moneymaker? Yeah. I thought the size in general is pretty big. Well, yeah, the size, too. Bro, you know what's crazy is they're building one in Wenatchee and then Malaga. Yeah. And those ones are supposed to be, or the one in Wenatchee is supposed to be a bit bigger than the one here. And this one's freaking huge. Huh. I wonder where, I, where do you work at though? Like, are you do you work at all of them or do you work at like? Yeah, I've been to all of them. Yeah. I literally even they have two lease sites. So, data centers. Actually, I just learned this yesterday. So, data centers. Shit, you actually might have to cut that out. <laughs> actually. Yeah. Okay, I'll cut that out. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna need a good head. <laughs> you nervous, you Yo. Why are you nervous? Cut that out, cut that out. Yo, take off the mic. <laughs> Insider secrets. <laughs> no, but I, I would think Microsoft is a company that I would want to work for. One of the companies. Yeah, it is. I'll tell this to you because, like, I don't know if I want to, because I work at the Gorge, right? And, like, like my boss like they have like hella connections with like people in like because it's live nation yeah they have like a lot of connections with like people like in like seattle the seattle area mm -hmm. and so I, like i don't know if i want to continue with like live nation or like move to a different company but microsoft is like one of those where like i would like if there was an opportunity i would like to work there and then microsoft has these benefits it's like i think it's literally like a top company with the Best benefits. It's crazy. It's not, it's, it's, for things you're doing, yes, but for for data center jobs, it's for a center, yes, lot of benefits. Because you could know. you could yeah. be like a project manager for like the servers. So that's what a lady is, and she just literally is in her office, you know, just like telling people, basically telling people. I mean, she'll help them too, you know, because she's certified to work on the servers too. Mm -hmm. But she basically like Just runs manages. what, yeah, and manages what's yeah, going what, on. Damn. And we're learning because... Microsoft Project right now. That's big class. Thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. It's very specific. Very soft. How much she make, you know? I'm pretty sure she makes over 100. Yeah, I do think so too. Like probably 120 starting? No, no, no. no, no. It's, Maybe it's 100 little, starting? 100 starting. Okay. 100. Well, uh, I think location was but here in Quincy. You think pretty sorry here in Quincy? Oh yeah, like oh, yeah, the, the the size of these ones. Yeah, the main dude. Oh yeah, true. I forgot like, about the size. Okay, so actually the they're telling us. <laughs> well, our my manager, you know, he yeah. was telling us that. So there's a dude named Shefik. Don't, then, <laughs> don't say names. Just, just say names, Bob. Right. Bob. No, no, no. So he's like the tallest one, but the people under him. 
They're making like a, a quarter, a quarter to a half mil a year, oh, and, and it's closer to half a mil. They're just like managers in like IT, CE, and logistics. Mm-hmm. So they like manage those. But the lady you were talking about, she does, she does like, um, like uh, works on the server, or like does she project manager for the servers, or, yeah. or like some, or like something else for the servers. Oh, okay. I worked at Microsoft for security sauce. Oh, you did? Yeah, I talked. I talked to a lot of like people there. Did you ever get to meet? I was, I was only at Columbia though. Oh, yeah. Well, that's... sometimes I would go to uh, Twenty One, but uh, yeah, mostly I was at Columbia. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, see, Twenty One is a lease site. Yeah, isn't that one? Um... That's Sabies. Yeah. I'm gonna start with this. Yeah, but hopefully I can get a job. Like maybe, I mean, cause I'm still barely gonna transfer it or, I mean, I'm still trying to get to break fix, which is working on servers. Mm-hmm. And so I've just been doing logistics. And once I do that, if I ever get like, I'd say probably like three to six months, I'm gonna start applying once I see like a position open in like Redmond yeah. for a DC technician. I'm gonna just apply over there, see if I get a job. Mm-hmm. Um, when you started there, um, did you know anything about like that stuff or did you just. No, I didn't know anything. Oh, yeah, you told me that. It's like yesterday, a couple days ago, right? Yeah. I was asking, do you know, you know stuff about computers? You said no. <laughs> no. I told him, I was like, I built a PC. <laughs> you told oh, yeah. him? You thought you built a PC? Yeah. Did you actually? No. Oh, <laughs> I think you did. No, I was going to say, building a PC like teaches you a lot about like how computers work. The and components, how, like, yeah. Yeah, the components. and were, Or like taking like, um, remember uh, digital tools? Yeah. Like even that, like I didn't realize that like help like, Oh, uh, like the different like parts, like what like RAM does, or like what um like uh, an SSD as opposed to a hard drive. Yeah. With like M.2 stuff like that, or like like the different like um power supply stuff like that. Yeah. It, like hella helps you like learning about like computers and stuff like that. More like the hardware side. Oh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah. And taking like simple course or like doing that yourself, hella help you. Yeah, I know about that stuff oh and bit. that's kareem that's what kareem did too he said he only like he only knew like he built a pc like his what his job he's a something like a data analyst or like a data technician yeah, data, was... technician data technician oh technician yeah, yeah. I think you told me so that something like that and then, um yeah he wants to move to more like uh the computer side or like technical side yeah and uh, so yeah, he he just told like um, when he was interviewing, he just said that oh I know, I built a PC I kn- I know like a little bit about that and he got the job like that. That's funny. I mean yeah. And then like my buddies that worked, they were like IT <coughs> or like they um they didn't know anything about that either. They just they went to like uh, or they worked at the board with me and then they worked at like what was that pizza place West Side? Yeah, they worked there and then that was it basically. And then they got the job or like. Just because, like, the references, like, yeah, it's, like, something that's, like, pretty easy to get into, like. Huh. Where does Kareem work at? He works in um, Salem, Oregon. For what company? Uh, it's called Taylor Metal. Oh. Oh, you know, it's cool. You said that um, his company is, is the, the metal supply company for Damian Lillard, that he's going to build a new house, and that's going to be, that's where he's getting his metal from. Oh. It's cool. cool. That's where he's there. Kareem. Yeah. Where's he building it? I don't know, probably like in the surrounding area. I don't think you would build it in Portland. Probably like Hillsboro or like Woodburn. No, Woodburn's a little farther. One of the surrounding like suburb areas. Actually, it's still good. It does. It actually looks good. Don't look at mine. <laughs> <It's amazing. laughs> yeah, Kim just left out of the city. He never came back. Yeah, I mean, like, well, it's because his family's restaurant was also down there because his family owned Tijuana's. Uh, but they had another restaurant in Oregon, uh, so that's why he went. No, but oh, yeah, he never told me, he told you, but he didn't tell me. Yeah, it was hella all of a sudden. He was just like, Yeah, I'm moving. I was like, Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. 
Very much, you know his family on Tijuana. So we eat there for free. Did you actually? No. Nah. Like once. <laughs> um, I remember it was back in like third or fourth grade. I got a burger. No <laughs> way. <laughs> and it makes a difference. Yeah. This is because the only thing they eat here is Mexican food. It, it, there That's is. why I like I'm like. That's why whenever, whenever like someone wants to go out and they're like, oh, let's go to Mexico, I'm like, nah, bro. Like, <laughs> that's the only thing yeah. I have at home. Exactly. That's what I feel, too. <laughs> yeah. Unless we get like a freaking mojajete or something like that. Yeah. And then I'm down. Yeah. Where's the blue at home? No, are they getting like burritos from like the tripas? That's pretty good. Like from where? Like. Uh, Texas Facebook. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, well, what's, the best, with... what's the best burrito place here in Quincy? Jerry, don't say anything. Because we had a we, we discussion last time. The Mercado. Really? Yeah, because they have the media, uh, uh, burritos. <coughs> I think that's probably one of the worst ones I've The worst? Cause, so, okay. Really? Okay, my defense, I mean, your defense, I see. I had the, 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 the Hot Cheetos one. I don't know, you see that one? Oh, I didn't even know they made that one. They made that. I was like, you know, I was like, you know, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, they had, they had Hot Cheetos. But I feel like the hot shoes were stale. It's oh, pretty okay. bad. I was like, nah, this is wack. <laughs> nah, bro, the media burritos over there, freaking fire. All right. Wait, what was yours, Ziggy? Taco Cisco. Yeah, have you ever had, had Tacos Jacob? Uh, yeah, I've only had the tacos there, though. Oh. No, they're, they're tortillas, what, are bomb. I remember, like, when we were in high school, they did that, like, that one thing where it was, like, a dollar for a taco. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got, like, hell of those, bro. They're pretty good. So I feel like if their tacos are good, the burritos are good. Yeah, they do the burrito, the bija, or uh, burritos too. Burrito tacos? What it's called? Even the quesadillas. Oh, quesadillas, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What about you, Iggy? What do you want to do? What do I want to do? Sleep the whole day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, last week I was sick. Last week I was sick. <coughs> I'm so sick, but yeah. I don't know. What I want to do? Be a fucking software engineer? How's that going? Pretty bad, but it's going, you know. <sighs> Gotta hop on LinkedIn. I have LinkedIn. I hate, I hate LinkedIn app. Oh, yeah, the app is I hate it. It's, it's... I mean, not like, like how it works. I just hate how. No, I don't like LinkedIn in general, the social media app. Why? I know it is just, everyone just boasting about how they got the job and just in the way yeah, they post stuff. True. Today <laughs> I found out that blah 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 blah. It's it's so dumb. I just think it's stupid. I was like, well, I don't know. Indeed's better, huh? What? Indeed's better or what? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those things suck. I was like, it's dumb. You know what I'm talking about, here, right? Yeah, it's I know like, what you're talking about. Cause that's what everyone uses at Microsoft too, <laughs> LinkedIn. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Oh, yeah. Like literally, you, just, you can click on their <coughs> profile, it or, like when you you're sending the emails, and it'll take you to their LinkedIn. Oh, really? Where it will like have an option to go to the LinkedIn. Oh. Like, bro. Damn, I need more blue. Oh, let's go. You want to put something like that? Actually, no, I got that. Oh, blue, what do you think? No, oh, I need like. Lovely? Like, yeah, I also need more white. Do you have more white or is that it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I might be done. Like, key. Really? It's not even close. You should paint to the background, Jared. Yeah, paint the background. You learned it from last time. <laughs> That's what I was like, bro, paint the background. He's like this year. Like, now I can paint stuff. <laughs> paint another one. <laughs> this looks freaking good. Actually, looks pretty cool. Oh, okay, so this is thing. This one, you can take it off and uh, send it somewhere else. What do you mean? So oh, like this it, liner it, here? It takes off and you can put it back on. Like, oh, wait. what the heck? Yeah, like this. Like this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you can take the other one off. No, I'll, just, I'll just leave it on. Like, <laughs> Tom Ross? <laughs> Wait, what is I should do in the middle? 
Wait, so what are you guys painting? Painting skateboard. You have to you have to look at the end result. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta watch the <laughs> whole video to see look at his painting. Yeah. You wouldn't want to miss this. <laughs> all right, all right. What should be all bad? It is gonna be bad. It is gonna be bad. I like I like no, the way it's turning out though. No, it looks pretty cool actually. Guys. So they can watch me. Yeah, like it looks pretty cool. Oh, it looks dope. <laughs> So you you wanna you both wanna like stay in tech or like the yeah. that yeah. kind of industry? Yeah, so obviously like, you look I'm tired <laughs> of tech. Look I'm tired of tech, but like yes, I have to stay in tech at this point. I mean yeah, I don't know, I just think it seems I don't know, it's just dumb. No. No, it's not dumb, it just there's too much, you know? There's too much of it. It's like I'm trying to get away from it. Like yeah, so I'm just trying to get away from it. So I don't know. I feel like that's the job the like the highest paying jobs right now, so yeah, yeah, yeah. of course it's the tickers, So it's the place to be at right now. Be at right now. Yeah. Oh, freaking spider trying to call up right here. Ah. Especially like all the companies in tech have like the best jobs too. Yeah. I mean, sure, that's subjective, but no, I don't know. I think a sports job would be pretty cool. But uh, ESPN. Sports oh yeah, something job. like that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty but, cool. Um. The thing is, like, it depends on, like, what in tech you're doing. Because if you're, like, coding and stuff like that, that can get boring really fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're, like, if you're working, like, that's with, like, servers or, like, I mean, hardware, boring. hardware, like, I feel like that's not as boring. Because like, you're not just sitting down in front of a screen. You're, like, making something, like, putting components together, like, yeah. making something work, I, fixing, no, like, a problem like that. I don't agree with that. Just, like, I don't agree with that. just, like, oh, this, this, freaking, this formula doesn't work. Here, let me... Let me oh, try let something me, out. Let me, let me run it now. Let me test it. It's free. no, that no. <laughs> you don't think so? No, because look, I work on uh, iOS apps, right? Yeah. So I make iOS apps. So so I get bored of doing whatever, right? I work on another project. Yeah, I think it's pretty. You know, it's pretty cool seeing like an app on your phone that you made. That's pretty dope. That's way more cooler than. Hey, look, I do hardware. <laughs> it is pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. And it's interesting. It's actually really interesting. It's like I feel like you're that just was sitting there, like sometimes you're like. No, you're creating stuff. You're creating stuff. I know, but you can do That's that cool. for literally like eight hours straight a day. No, it's it's yeah, it goes by. No, it doesn't go back. <laughs> <soon. It doesn't. laughs> yeah, it used to go back soon, you know. Not no more, but you just gotta get in the groove, you know. I don't know. Then why haven't you had an interview yet? <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's it's different. That's different. Uh, oh no, <laughs> he's too scared to have an interview. Uh, that's weird. I'm really no. Yeah. Look, at you, watch out for your like your clothes. Why? You don't like get paid on your clothes. No, no, no. These are old clothes, anyways. <laughs> you think I was gonna wear something nice to this podcast? I mean, something <laughs> decent, you know? I mean, look at all filthy and stuff. All raggedy. Raggedy. All wishy washy. <laughs> Uh, oh, shit. Kids. This blue actually looks pretty cool. Actually, how you gonna do wire what? Yeah. How long ago did you start uh Mike Um uh, like five months ago. What were you doing before that? Before that, I didn't have a job, and before that, welding. Really? <laughs> yeah. You like that? Welding? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Like, I mean, the only thing is, I kind of didn't like the people I worked with. I don't know why. Yeah. Because they're all white. They're all white. Dude, not gonna lie, like, there's no culture, like, where you're working at, like, it's pretty tough. It is. Uh, it's not to say that, like, you know, I, like, <coughs> white people, like, anything against, like, white people, but it's just to, like, even if, like, you were just, like, with, like, one, like, one race, you were know, working amongst them, like, even, like, if you were working with, like, if I was working with, like, a bunch of Mexicans, yeah. like, it's, like, tough, you know what I mean? It is tough, because then, like, yeah, I get you, because you can't relate to them. No, I get you. Yeah, that's why it's, like, Microsoft is diverse. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's pretty funny. 
Like, where are there some you guys eras? ride Microsoft so much. <laughs> it's so funny. So well, that's, like, all I did here? Or, like, I guess there's, like, 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 that's, like, what a lot of people do here. You know what I mean? So that's, like, really the only thing that, like, but there's a lot of Taco Bell's. Bro, there's another spider, bro. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. It's right here. Oh, shit. Bro, where are we, dog? Come on. We're in the ghetto. We're in Quincy. We're in the freaking cuss. We're in Quincy. Oh, where else will we be? Yeah, Dude, my mic's not even on. Oh, don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, you got him panicking around. <laughs> Yo. So you uh, you want to live in somewhere like Seattle or what, dude? Yeah, I feel like that would be a good place, you know? Or Seattle. Hell. <laughs> not like Seattle, like a little bit like towards Redmond. Yeah. Like, because, you know... It's kind of in between, like, the big city, Seattle, and, like, country. Yeah. So, you know... Both it, best worlds. Yeah, it's not too big, but not too small. I mean, it's, like, bigger than Wenatchee, you know? Something bigger than Wenatchee would be pretty good. Because Wenatchee's, like, it's still small. Like, there's still not a lot of... Like, it seems like there's a lot of stuff you can do there. Yeah, there's not. But there much. isn't. I see I'd rather live in a, in a, like, a state where it's, like... 70 degrees year round. Like San Francisco, see, it's pretty nice. Not necessarily San Francisco, but like somewhere like San Francisco where it's, it's nice year round. So, like, you know, during the winter, there's nothing to do during the winter. Skiing, snowboarding. Yeah. Just want to go, like, that's no, why wait. if you were to live like in Wenatchee or something like that, that'd be dope. But the winters get pretty tough there. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't know. I feel like that's why last year I gained too much weight. I didn't do nothing during, I didn't do anything during the uh, winter. Don't worry, we're gonna go snowboarding this year. That's one time. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That's a one time thing. No, bro, get the season pass. Go like, yeah. Go. But then that's like the gas. I cross. think I want to. Dude, it's freaking. It's like 30. Uh, it's like 15 minutes away. It's not that much. Have you gone to snowboarding at Mission Ridge, Lucas? No. But I'm going to this year. I want to skateboard. Don't know how to skate, bro. But it's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know. I can't skate. Can't nothing. I can't skate. Uh, skating, longboarding? A little fun. Longboarding is pretty fun, yeah. I would do a skateboard because it's smaller than the longboard. You do tricks. You actually learn how to do tricks. No, but I mean, <laughs> you could do tricks. You could do, you could do tricks. Hypothetically. Yeah. Have you ever seen those one videos where like people have like no. the longboard and they'll have it like yo, <laughs> <It's> yo <bro. laughs> they're like going in Damn, between. Who's this host? I honestly, yeah. what are you? Who's host too? You can talk shit, shit. We call it. Go on, go on. Go on. <laughs> the the, the like step, the like step on it, so it like goes like zigzaggedy. Oh, that's called freestyle. Oh, another one. Yo, that one's that's huge. huge. Yo, 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 yo. shut up. Yo, what? Bro! Iggy! Did I get to throw some? Yo, bro. Dude, I'm gonna burn this sweater. <laughs> yo, I think it's just you, Lucas. Hey, yo, Lucas is Spider Man after this, we know why. Yeah. I'm gonna get bit by every spider there is. Look at, I think it's just you. I've never seen Spider Man. Yo. Spider's chair. <laughs> you should wait a lot of these shirts. I'm not paying myself. Are you going to edit this podcast? Yeah. Alright, nice topic. Um, <laughs> abortion topic. I'm thinking the part out. He's like, I'm going to save that for another episode. <laughs> no, no, no. Alright, what else is it? But, um... Aside from work, what are your guys' hobbies? <laughs> Who's gonna work with a hobby? <laughs> <laughs> if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Oh. I still feel like that wouldn't be true. Though. Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't be true. Can we, bro? What if, like, you're, like, working with, like, athletes? Like, you clock in, you just get to go. Just like work out with athletes, actually. Or like, like, those, like social media accounts that like, fought, like ask athletes questions, stuff like that. Like for like, 
like, okay, cool. like that, you interview them. I thought it's cool, yeah. but then you think it's, I don't know. It, you'd like do it so much that it'd end up feeling like it's a job. Man. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, it is your job, making money. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I want to apply to like internships for like sports teams. If, but like, once I graduate. Goddamn. Once I graduate and get my master's, or like once I graduate and like, I'm working on my master's, yeah. uh, that'd be a job that I want to do. Or like, apply for. Oh, like in like Seattle sure. or like Portland, something like that. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. What are you even tickets for some of that? Or just discounted? Well, you get the pass, don't you? Like the... She's a pass? No, the reporter's pass. I mean, that's for like... You can go on like, on like the media access areas. Yeah. Where do you want? Mm. Orange? Yeah. Any hot takes, Lucas? So you hot takes? So you cancelled? Yeah. You know, it's about, this show is about getting people cancelled. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's literally what I'm trying to do. Um, Gary sent me up. <laughs> <laughs> you set yourself up. No, I'm just a fucking You set yourself up. <laughs> I still stand with Kanye. Oh, I'm still a Kanye fan. I don't care what, you, what I don't care what he'll do. It's my guy. Yeah, Kanye's the goat, huh? No, nah, actually, yeah, he's the goat. Yeah. Wait, who, bro? He's like, he's like the only. If he would, wait, if he wasn't, who would be the goat? If he wasn't, because you said, no, nah, yeah, he was. Because you're saying no at first, you're hesitant, you know? No, I mean like. No, because I just didn't think, I was like, nah, I was like, oh wait, yeah, he's the GOAT. I was yeah, like, I think yeah. No. Like, he's like, first of all, he's like the only, one of the only, like, top guys that, like, also produced his own music. Instead of just, like, rapping, he, oh. like, produced it himself. Then, like, if you listen to the songs, he doesn't talk about, like, drugs or, like, well, a lot of his songs, he doesn't talk about, like, drugs or, like, violence or stuff like that. Yeah. Like, he just, like, has, like, hella bars. Well, what do you think about Kendrick? Like, Kendrick? Kendrick? Cause he, he talks about like you know the stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, like, like not stuff like that. He talks about like you know his uh, home, living in the like, poverty and all this projects, but right. Yeah. So what do you think I think. Well, I'm I'm a Kendrick fan too, but like. Oh. Okay, you know what, they, they say Kendrick fan. Really good. Yeah, like, you know how they say Kendrick fan is like, he's not a mainstream artist. Yeah. I feel like he is a mainstream artist. Yeah, I think he is. Right, but yeah, people yeah. say oh, he's not for the mainstream. Well, he may not be for them, but he, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean. A lot of underground people are like, he he is big in the underground. But, Kendrick? Yeah. Oh, there's a spider right there. Are you hearing it? Oh, yeah, it's just me, huh? <laughs> it was literally hanging from your hair. Uh, but. <laughs> Yo. When the spiders oh, wrap, wrap this episode. <laughs> <laughs> spiders all around. Hey, right, so um, oh, I don't want to ask that. No, see it, dude. See it. See it. See it. I want yeah, you to see it. Wait, all right, no, this will be pretty easy, actually. What do you think about like the political state? The, the political and economic state. Yeah, of the world. you know. <laughs> Again, now I'm about to pull out Jaden Smith. We can get him. Like, yo, no. he's anyone to the tongue. <laughs> no. no, but like, what do you feel about the current the country right now? I don't know. Like, I feel like we're in a bad, bad situation. Yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah. Do you think World War Three is coming? No, I don't think so. No. But I think too many countries are trying to avoid it to actually let it happen. I mean, if one country like does something, yeah, that's true. I feel like you know, one country does something. Then, I mean, Russia did do something to Ukraine, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah but like it. I don't know. It's, that, but like the thing is, like, well, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know about like a lot of that situation because like I don't even know if they're Ukraine's a part of NATO or like I don't think they are. Uh, so that's like what. Like, well, that's why like. I'm not saying that, like, it's, like, Russia's problem with them, but, like, you know, we don't have, like, any... Because, obviously, yeah. like, we don't want, like, Americans don't want that to happen to Ukraine, but, like, they're, like, 
Yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of like over there. You it's know not what I mean? our fault in a way. Yeah, it's not like our problem. Yeah, but like, I mean, it kind problem, of is, yeah. but it's not like, it's not like, damn. That's that's their beef. You know what I mean? Yeah. I get what you mean. But like, obviously, we want to help them because, like, people are dying. Yeah, like don't. Civilians. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. Like, or, like, with, like, Taiwan. What's happening with Taiwan? What's happening with Taiwan? What is, yeah. Because, like, uh, China wants to invade Taiwan. Oh. Uh-huh. But, like, I think Taiwan's a part of NATO. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I saw that. But, like, we're, like, we're, in, like, we're allies with the Taiwan. So, like, I don't know. The Americans want to let it happen. Mm-hmm. So, like... But if freaking Russia and China team up, fuck. I don't know about that one. Wait, what do you think about, like, um, because people, like, hella hate on the, the America, the United States? Yeah. Like, oh, America fucking sucks. This country sucks, blah, blah, I feel like people would give it too much shit for how it is, you know? Yeah, I think you know? so, too. I think it's, like, the, one of the better countries. It is one better country, yeah. And what do you think is better than this, so? What? I mean, would you th- say there's well, any Well, I, I wouldn't be able to say that because I've only lived here. Yeah, but, I mean, there's countries, like, I don't know, like, um, Paris. Like, uh, in Northern Europe, like, say, like, I don't know, Sweden, maybe. Like, the Nordic countries? Yeah, you know, like, they're very, just doing their own thing, you know, where, like, they don't really mess with anyone. Neutral? Yeah, they just, I thought those are... But I think one of the, one of those countries, they're not neutral anymore. They joined, like, NATO or something like that. Oh. I think so. Well, that's just, but, yeah, I feel like people get too much shit. I mean, people say too much shit about... Too much shit, yeah. Yo, that's a fast spider. Kill it, yo. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, <we're... gasps> Yo, oh, no. <laughs> you are serious, spiders? Yo, is that the blood right there? No, no, no. Yo, are you scared, scared of spiders? Are you spiders? Is that kind of him? Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, no, I'm actually. I'm, no, I'm scared too. after that big spider. I'm sure big ones. But... <laughs> like, there's oh, a big one on Lucas. Did you see that big one on me? That yeah. one was bigger than the one on Lucas. Really? No, one at the yeah. yeah. That was huge. Uh, um, next time, I think someone else will do this. <laughs> Alright, well, well, what's your dream country to live in? Like, we want to live in, like, Dubai, Monaco. I don't, don't want to sound messed up, but I wouldn't feel safe in Dubai. Like, no, wait. Uh, in, like, the Middle Eastern <laughs> countries, I just wouldn't feel safe. Because I, I feel like, <laughs> no. like, so, stuff could happen, you know what I mean? That's true, that's true. Especially if they, like, the, I don't, know if, know, I don't even know if they like, like, Americans. I don't either. Well, I heard a lot of Americans do live there. Really? Yeah, like every it's a place you visit. It's not a place you live. I feel like it's like Dubai, though. It's not like a place you visit. I actually, low key, I'm kind of scared to even visit over there. Like in any Middle Eastern country. Really? Yeah, yeah just because, like, you don't know what happened. But there is more control, I feel like. You know? I think it's worse because, like, the South American. Yeah, country. I guess, yeah. <laughs> That's even more of a wild card. Yeah. Yeah. What about. What about like the UK? No, wait, Jared, give you a reasoning about uh, why you want to live in Dubai, you know? Yeah. See, <laughs> the reason why I would want to live in Dubai is, you know, because in order to live in Dubai, you have to have a high net worth. Just be rich, you know? Yeah. yeah, basically be rich. And so if you live in Dubai, you basically need it, you know? <laughs> like you basically became rich. Like literally only millionaires live there. So that's why I think it's safe. Like people may not think it's safe because it's in the Middle Eastern, but literally only rich people live there. And why would rich people like cause a problem? You know, because they always stay out of their own lanes. They no, stay I think in the their rich own people lane. are the problem. Facts, you know, are the problem. So? Yes, but they're like so into like you know over there. They're more into like, both, Muslim. Or? No, like the Muslim. Islam? Like so. Not Islam, Mus- Muslim. Islam. Or whatever. That's a religion. A Muslim is, that's, the religion is Islam, but you're a Muslim. Yeah, so they're more into like, oh, halal and haram and stuff like that. Basically like, some Andrew Tate type stuff. Oh, what do you guys think about Andrew Tate? What do you guys think about Andrew Tate? Yeah. Here, give me Tate. Yeah, you, hell yeah, he's the top G. Oh my. <laughs> you actually believe that, like. No, I'm think? just fucking with me. Okay, no, okay. I mean, he has some valid points, you know? But there's some stuff where it's like, oh, what the fuck are yeah, you like, talking about? Yeah, like, why do you about? see that? Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> basically, I, I like the point where it's like, you have to... What I think of it is, like, he has some good points, but he just, he's too far into that, like, kind of, like... Mentality? Yeah, mentality. But, yeah, like, I feel like with any kind of, like, 
if you talk about like any because obviously like he has like a, a certain view of the world and stuff like that and everyone does but right. i feel like like groups like that that think like that like not just what he thinks but like if like a group that has like feminism or like whatever he like i think they call like male like like dominant like uh, like masculine, that. masculine, whatever, whatever masculinity. you want to call it, masculine, like, yeah. like any type of like worldview that you have. I feel like people who are associated with those any type of group, they're so focused on that group that like that's when it becomes a problem. Because you have to you have to look at like everyone's perspective yeah. as opposed to just your own perspective. And I think that's what like oh. like that's what I think he's missing too. Because I don't think I don't think he realized that like like yeah. there's there's different like like the world's evolving. Like people are becoming like more and more different, more and more woke. <laughs> not even woke, just like realizing like like it's okay to be like your yourself almost like or like what you think is good yeah or like i don't know just people just don't see like what feel, people fail to realize cause, and you can say that about like political stuff too people fail to realize other people's situations or viewpoints stuff like that so if you were to just, like, take a step back have some like i forgot what the word is like Clarity, no, not clarity. Like, just like think of like other different viewpoints. Yeah. yeah, viewpoints. Yeah. Open-mindedness. Yeah. Open. Stuff like that. But like, I think he's too too far into his mindset. If you just like take some of the points and like apply them to like a different kind of mindset, like it'd be good. But I don't think he. I also don't think he should have been banned off like Twitter. I don't think anybody should be yeah, banned. Yeah, like, I don't think anybody should be banned on anything unless they like they directly like. Target Sit, someone. Target like someone. Well, that's somewhere. what I mean. And technically, that's what Kanye did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But like, I, I still don't think he should go back. But like, not, like, not gonna yeah, yeah. yeah I know he's gonna come back. Like, Cause like, I don't, I don't agree with like banning people. Cause like, once you ban like someone, that means like anyone can get banned for just like anything. Yeah. Like, or, like when, uh, I don't think agitated uh, viewpoints were like too crazy for him to get banned. Yeah, especially after everything. So, yeah. so uh, the battery died? I don't know how much recording. Oh my gosh, bro. No way. Yeah. They're not even going to be able to see my <laughs> Bro, this is what happened last time, too. <laughs> it did, it did. God damn it, Iggy. Oh, it's horrible. Boom. I'm playing the next video. Let's go. I, I, I like the... I like the style you, you uh, painted. It's kind of like gives us like, the, the lines, you know? You gotta put that detail on the Air Jordan. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. Alright, what do you guys think about. Oh, let's go! My package is delivered. Now let's I can go. wear my package. I can steal it now. Let's go. <laughs> like a Yeezy? What, what do you think about. What do you think about cancel culture? Cancel culture? I don't agree with it. Do you participate it's in the cancel culture? <laughs> I, mean, I honestly don't even know like exactly what cancel culture just, is. Just you know when someone does something bad, you just like oh, like you just like up and like hello like you're done with them. Yeah. No, like, like you see Kanye West, he's yeah. talking about bad stuff. He's like, oh, this guy should be. How canceled. about instead of trying to cancel someone, or like trying to cancel people in general, like you try to educate instead of just like retaliate. Yeah, that's kind of show them like show them why what they said was wrong. Well, obviously, like when you say anti-Semitic stuff, that like you don't need to say that why that's wrong. Like, I'm not talking about just that instance. I'm talking about, like, like when you try to cancel, like, other people for, like... For, like, Andrew Tate. Yeah, stuff like that. Like, instead of, like, trying to... If you say... If someone says they're an Andrew Tate fan, like, why would you cancel them? Instead of that, just say, like, oh, oh, here's another view. Or here's another view. Here's someone in other, someone else's situation. What do you think about that? And, like, how it kind of, like... Like, not how it differs from what he thinks. Instead of just... Oh, you're wrong. You get canceled. Like that's not. Yeah. That's, as a society, that's not the path towards what I feel like a lot of people want. Ha yeah. Like a like a inclusive or like one like together society. I don't think that's that's the right path towards it. Yeah. So yeah, like kind of like his viewpoints. Like he's always like, oh, girls need to be basically kind of dominated. You know. Yeah. Like. They don't need to do stuff like everything's up to a man. Like someone could retaliate, be like, "Oh, at this like studies have shown like women doing this stuff, it's more productive, or you know, yeah, like or it's and like, that's, smarter. That's it brings that, another. That's another thing too. I feel like what a lot of people think about agitate is a, 
is only what they see off of like TikTok or like social media, like clips. You yeah. know, people edit clips. I feel like the majority of people only see like those clips and fail to see like everything he said. Yeah. Like, cause he like what he was saying, like, like women are like precious, right? Which is like true. That's that's true. Yeah. Like they should be like cared for, but but they only see that he said that. Oh, they should they should they should only be this or they should only be that, and they. I feel like a lot of people only saw that clip as opposed to like the whole thing. So like, even even if like, I feel like that's another problem. People only look at like certain, either, either what they want to see or like only certain things of what they've been yeah. shown. Oh yeah. As opposed to the whole thing. Exactly. That's why. Which is another problem. The clip that I showed last one. My YouTube short is the yeah. same some controversial <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah. Just for that purpose, you know. Yeah. Just people can tune and watch the video. So yeah. Because it's a it's a attention grab. You know, they hear yeah. something. Bad, they're like, oh, I'm intrigued. Like, I want to watch this. Yeah. And then they want to like express, like, oh, this is for some bullshit. Like, yeah. if they don't like it, or if they like it, because more people that don't like it, they'll just, or people that do like it, they'll just like react to it. They won't say anything. Yeah. So it's more just to grab the attention of people that want to hate, because that's an attention grab for them. So they'll start putting all the energy into that and like start following it. It's just the way to do that. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's a word for it. Word for what? For like grabbing, like it's kind of like they're grabbing a new audience, or they're baiting. Yeah, baiting. Hmm. Yeah. They they do it for the views, basically. <laughs> what? That's yeah. what he's doing. <laughs> how, how many how many views is that? Last one? Yeah. Oh, like, the clip. Like 200. Oh, do you see? Okay, you know how you to I told you how YouTube, you get, like, I read a review, you get caught. Yeah. Of whatever you're showing, like, how many views it gets. Yeah. Well, TikTok's doing the same thing now. Oh, they are? So if you blow That's up right. on TikTok, you're going to have a good chance. Yeah. Follow me on TikTok. Do you I actually have TikTok? I have TikTok. Oh, sorry, I have a okay. TikTok, but not like a. Like a follow the account KO33R. That's Kareem's account that, that our TikTok blew up. <laughs> what did it blow up to? 5.3 million views. Actually, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna put up. I'm gonna put up here. Put, put the clip up. Put That's me filming with my video. <laughs> Wait, can I be put up? What? Can I put it up? No, you can. Yeah. Cause it zooms it too. You just black out. <laughs> so basically, oh, you yeah. want to see it? Yeah. Oh, it's actually about? like it's a well crafted video. It's, it's more for like it's, it's a be like an iconic meme. What do you know? An iconic meme. That's potential. Actually, does it? Uh, we'll, see, we'll see right now. Does that Corolla have an exhaust? Okay. <laughs> no way. That blew that. You have 1.3 million likes? You already know. That's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> it's just crazy. How many, uh... How many followers did he get from that? Did he get from that? Like 2,000. Oh, oh, I think so. It was more. Yeah, I thought it would have been more. But it's because he's in the post. Yeah, he's at 2,200. Oh. Okay. If he posted regularly, like, videos like that, I feel like you get more. But it's hard, you know? It's kind of like... Yeah. Just make pure down videos. Yeah. Cool. You need to make TikToks. That's what I told him, but he says he doesn't like TikTok. I spent too much time on TikTok. So. Yeah, that, watching them, not making them. There's a difference. Exactly. Same thing as YouTube. I watch how you do. Just put it in, like, you know, like, you know how you can hide your apps? No, I have the, the screen limit. So on iOS, there's this thing where you can only watch it uh, beyond an app for a specific amount of time. Then after that, it locks you out. But if you know the password, you can just put the password in, which that's why I do, so... <laughs> like, fuck out of here. <laughs> like, Tell your sister to put a password for TikTok. No, no, don't forget. They're like, uh, I mean, I won't be done, but. No. Alright. That's it. You want to it? That's it. Alright, so this is going to be it. Here's my painting. It's a skateboard, and there's a hand in the middle. This is mine. This is a Jordan 1, and it's like a. I don't know, random background, like explosion. Dope, dope. Dope, dope, dope. This is mine, the autumn season, yeah, yeah.